Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Nisha Samra. And I'm Dion Gandhi. Today is Tuesday, January 31st, and we're here with your morning announcements. As a reminder to juniors and seniors, the CSF application due date is today, so you better make sure to turn that in before it's too late. If you're interested in joining or replying, please please print or pick up, pick up an application from Ms. Heron's room in HJ5. Please return the filled application with your highlights of unofficial transcript to Ms. Heron's class today. The 2022-2023 yearbook is on sale now for $90. Pick yours up by scanning the QR code on screen. College and Career Connections is excited to be hosting three workshops to assist students in preparing for summer internship applications for programs such as Summer Youth, Civic Summer, Into Leonard, and more. All workshops will be held, held at 4.30 to 8 to 6 p.m. at the following locations. Our National Honor Society program will be hosting their Spring Blood Drive on Tuesday, February 7th. Sign-ups will be available at lunch. Now let's pass it on over for Tad for Wins and Fails. Buenos dias, mis amigos. Me llamo Tachel. These are your Wins and Fails. First, a fail to my m and lovers out there because the company has decided to get rid of their spokes candies as their mascot and instead replaced them with comedian Maya Rudolph. This came about after Eminem changed their green Eminem shoes from heels to Converse, and apparently it was a very polarizing topic in America. Even Tucker Carlson was complaining about it on his show. I don't know why, they are just sugary pieces of chocolate that have eyes and arms and wear shoes, but in all honesty, I'm not even percent sure they're going to come back in a Super Bowl commercial. Next, a huge dub to YouTuber Mr. Beast, who cured blindness for a thousand people in his latest video. He cured people in America, Mexico, Honduras, Indonesia, Brazil, Vietnam, Kenya, and Jamaica. In the video, he said, quote, half of all blindness in the world is people who need a 10-minute surgery, end quote. Also, in a later tour post, he said that he hopes that governments could get involved and help cure blindness for more people, though I doubt the government will do this since they are money-grubbing goblins, but one can hope. Finally, phase up. Unfortunately, though, this does not apply to their stock, which is phasing down. It went from a peak of $17.43 to $0.70 cents as of yesterday, and they may even be delisted from the stock market at this rate. This is probably due to them not making a lot, but still spending a ton of money on things like talent acquisition and executive compensation, which is in the millions for some reason. So definitely a fail to them, as they'll probably be going back to being a private company soon. Well, that's all I got, Wolfpack. Back to Nisha and Daniel. Thank you, Tad. When softball and baseball season rolls around, remember to park in front of the school at the parking lot, not the blacktop or near the field. The deadline to create a senior ad for the yearbook has been extended to Thursday, February 9th. You can find more information on the COHS yearbook website. Wear orange tomorrow to help awareness for gun violence in America. That's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Dion Gandhi. And I'm Nisha Samra. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Backwards, Backwards Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.